This is a tour of 12 heater type rocket stoves as described in this book by Ianto Evans. A typical rocket mass heater is going to have four parts that we can normally see. Uh, the wood feed, the combustion chamber, the thermal mass, usually a bench, and the exhaust. Taking a closer look at Ianto's book, we can see the wood feed, the combustion chamber, the thermal mass, as a bench, and in this picture, no exhaust. In the spirit of crappy video is better than no video, I present to you my best video of an existing rocket stove. So here you can see the wood feed, the combustion chamber, and the thermal mass as a rather large bench. Here's a rocket mass heater under construction. Uh, you can see the insides of the combustion chamber. And here is a great view of the wood feed, the combustion chamber, and the thermal mass bench. We're going to need a bit of fire in it to dry out all that mud. After a few hours of hot, hot fires, then uh, you can kind of see how all the water in the mud is getting converted into steam here at the exhaust. This one has a whole bucket of crazy. First, the wood feed is flush with the ground and the combustion chamber is on the other side of this wall. And my video is too dark for this small bit. See the wood feed? If we swing around to the other side of this wall, we'll see half of the combustion chamber. The thermal mass in this case is the floor and a water heater. All right, there's the exhaust. And as we go inside on the other side, we'll see the other half of the combustion chamber right there and here's the water heater this one's in a wood shop you can see the wood feed the combustion chamber and the thermal mass is a workbench off to the left this next one is called a pocket rocket the wood feed and the combustion chamber both sit inside a metal bucket there is no thermal mass not nearly as efficient but quick and easy Here's another pocket rocket. This is Yonto Evans explaining the problems in the design of this rocket heater. After the combustion chamber, the warm exhaust travels back and forth under two big beds. It's with this rocket heater that it was discovered that four inch duct is too small. This is another one where the combustion chamber is on the other side of a wall from the wood feed. So here is the wood feed, and skipping around to the side shows us the combustion chamber and a large bed platform as the thermal mass. There's another room and bed platform on the other side of that wall. Next up you can see another rocket mass heater. Uh, the bench has a lot of junk on it, but you can still make out the wood feed and the combustion chamber. Another rocket mass heater. This time we start with the exhaust. I think this building's been used for a lot of storage, so it's hard to see the telltale signs of a rocket mass heater. See the wood feed and the combustion chamber? So the thermal mass bench wraps around to the left. It's really big, but has lots of stuff on it. And finally, the last in this collection. There you can see the combustion chamber and the wood feed. And off to the left is the thermal mass bench. If you like this, Come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket stoves, eco-building, permaculture, stuff like that all the time.